A microbit can control an iPad or an iPhone. In this video I will show how they can be connected to a PIR sensor that responds to movements. I will show how it is done with an Apple product, but it can also be done with Android. You need to start by downloading a microbit app for your iPad or iPhone. Once the app is downloaded, open it and you will see the main menu. Here you need to start by pairing your microbit with the iPad or iPhone. Therefore select this menu item. Now you get an explanation of how to prepare the microbit for pairing. At some point you must build the pattern that appears on the microbit. And you must accept the pairing of the devices. The process looks like this. Once the pairing has taken place, press Reset on the microbit and return to the main menu. If the pairing is not successful, you may need to go to Settings, Bluetooth and delete the old microbits. Now you need to create a program. It can be done on a computer, on an iPad or an iPhone. If you prefer one of the last ones, press Create Code. Inside Make Code you must make an extension to the program. Select Advanced and Extensions. The extension you need is called Devices. Now you must accept that you cannot use the radio function together with devices. Then you need to make this program. The feature that can take pictures is in devices. To transfer the program to the microbit, select download. If you have made the program on an iPad or an iPhone, you should receive this receipt. Now you need a PIR sensor that can detect changes in heat radiation from living beings. It has two small wheels where one determines the sensitivity and the other how fast it must be ready again for a new detection of movements. They must be set as shown here. This means that it takes three seconds before the sensor is ready for a new registration. It has three terminals as shown here. At the corner there is a jumper that should sit as shown here. To learn more about PIR sensor watch my YouTube video about it. Here is the diagram of the setup we need. To work properly, the sensor must have a greater voltage than the 3 volts which a microbit can deliver, and it takes a few minutes before it is ready after you have connected the power. Now we need the setup to work with an iPad or an iPhone. Therefore select this menu item which is not found at Android. To begin with the panel looks like this. You can delete an item by clicking on the three dots. We will add an item so we click Add. 
Here we choose camera. And you say OK to the micro bit being allowed to use the camera and microphone. And then you have to start the program. If this does not work, you may need to pair the devices again. When you install the extension devices, an extension called Bluetooth was also installed. Here is a line called Bluetooth LED service. If we put that in start, the LED pattern on the microbit will be transferred to the iPad.